right, I'm at Whitby now and I'm not here for very long at all, just me a minute. try not to leave that on a train today but um, I am back riding along the S band and I'm actually riding the entire route right now from Middlesbrough to Whitby which takes one hour 44 minutes that's very exciting I am off to Whitby Slate and Rosewarm um, I did buy myself a coffee because I thought I'd be a little bit tired with only getting back uh, to Middlesbrough quite late last night and I was kept up a bit because a very loud noise let's put it in the hotel and um, then obviously getting up early to catch this train again but to be fair I'm pretty awake it does help out the sun's out uh, I'm on the first train it's 1.56 440 now and I'm not here for very long at all just me a minute because the way I've had to plan this day out is that I'm getting off this train and then straight back on it just because I don't want to get home like home home at ridiculous o'clock tonight because I'm up early again tomorrow morning as I'm going on holiday you know what it feels good to take my station selfies on my phone again and also I can't find the bin on the 157 I don't know what the bins are on that train honestly Whitby is run by Northern Trains and it's got two platforms. However, as far as I'm aware, platform one is used by Northern Trains and platform two is used by trains on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Yeah, that um, still is quite the tongue twister for me. Um, also here, it is part-time staffed and when I say part-time, I mean very part-time. I think it's just from half eight to like two hours, something like that, yeah. It is just a couple of hours in the morning. The train did pull in like a couple of minutes early so I've just popped out to have a look at the front of the station. Uh, there is a Greggs right across the road um, but I am just going to head straight back in and get on the train. Alright, I'm back on the train now. I am on the 158 but it is 158.849 and I think whilst I love this line so much I am going to have to come back and ride along again in the future and then when I do that I can actually go to Whitby Beach and spend some time there. It's a good job I noticed the station sign pulling into Slate Station then because honestly, if I didn't, I would have just stayed on the train. I didn't even notice that we'd called it Ross Warp. But um, yeah, all's gone to plan. We're at Slate. Well, I think we can say for sure there used to be two platforms here, not too sure how long ago, like, but Slates now just has the one platform and it is operated by Northern Trains. But also, you actually can't walk that far down the platform because um, the do not cross the line sign is right here on the lamppost as opposed to being right at the end of the platform. <laughs> There is some scaffolding up. I saw a very similar thing at Egerton when I was waiting around for ages there last night. Not entirely sure what it is that's going on within the scaffolding. I also love how they've put the bin behind the scaffolding. But anyways, there is an information screen here and I genuinely was about to say that I'm happy to see it so I can tell the time. Um, not thinking of course. I've got my phone today. I have got my phone today. I've not left it on the train, don't worry. But there's also here a barrow crossing down there and there is a station sign that's not quite on the platform but it's just outside of the station okay i've actually just had my question answered because on this poster here outside of the station it does give a history of slate station and it says um, that it went from two platforms to one platform in 1984 
would you look at this? It's like somewhere out of Cardiff. There is a bridge just out of the station that crosses over the River Esk. I was headed for a wonder to the River Esk, but it literally took me seconds. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, some seconds out of the nearly three hours that I've got here killed. Um, I have got written down as well that there is a spa, but it's not even this way. It's the other way out of the station. I thought, and I may as well do it actually, whilst I do have three hours here and it is a hot day again, may as well go and get an extra drink. I'm back from the spa now and when I said spa by the way I didn't mean like a massage spa I meant the shop but uh, I've got a drink I think I'm just gonna sit here in the station and get me a search book out just got off the final train 156 440 and um, not only was it 11 minutes delayed but it was rammed like seriously obviously the same two trains as well like, i don't know if it's because it's a saturday or what but anyways i'm not rus warp i've really not got long here i've got about 15 minutes thereabouts um before the train comes back from whitby and then i'm getting on it to get home but um when i first discovered that there was a station called rus warp down here genuinely like the first thing that came into my mind was rus warp the dog which is very well known on the settle to carlisle railway line um and there's even a statue of the dog at but I did do a search on it and like no connection came up um, between the dog and this station and when you're at Roswarp you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head when you're at Roswarp you put your knickers on your head and you shout squishy babies donated by Wolf Noble isn't he on Doctor Home Roswarp is a northern only station and it's got the one platform. It's also got loads of plants down it um, and there is a level crossing at the end. Ah, old ticket office here. Right, I've literally just come across the road from the station. There's some uh, benches and little seating areas here. It's actually a shame I didn't have longer at Roswarp um, because I could have actually gone and seen from ground level the Larpool Viaduct, which would have been lovely, but anyways, I have once again loved coming down this line. Like, it's not just pretty, it is absolutely beautiful. All the stations down it, um, you can tell that they belong on the line because, well, they are already pretty, but also they have um, a herd box and a bug hotel. Also, over the past few days, I've had some absolutely lovely conversations with the staff. They've been absolutely wonderful to chat to, and they always tell you as well when you get on the train which door you have to use to get off the train. Right, I best get into the station because I don't want to miss my train home. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Fuzzy bye! G -g -g what's the station called? G -g 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 oh my actual days. What is the station called? It begins with a G.